This guy will kill you to death inside, inside of three rounds. Yep. He's just another fighter. No, he ain't just another fighter. <laughs> this, this guy is a wrecking machine, and he's hungry. Hell, you ain't been hungry yeah. since you won that belt. I'm ready. Even in high school, I'm ready. There we go. All right, Alex Dixon, cornerback, Countryside High School, University of North Carolina commit. University of South Florida, Tennessee, Auburn, Florida were also in the mix. So let's mention them a few things before we go on to your, your commission. Uh, first of all, um, they, they were great schools, obviously. And um, I just only, I knew I only had two one schools, and they the perfect fit for me. And um, obviously it was North Carolina. And um, I just pre appreciate all the coaches. Um, meeting new coaches and stuff is a great experience and stuff. So um, it was just one school to choose. So. so let's talk a little bit about Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill has a reputation, unbelievable academic reputation on top of the athletics. Some call it the Ivy League, uh, public school Ivy League. It's also a huge school, but you've also got Duke and NC State right there. So a lot of things going on in the triangle. So, you know, it, there was an atmosphere. But talk a little bit about what Chapel Hill set apart from everything else. Um, first of all, it's just um, the um, love in the, in the air and on the campus and stuff. So um, that was a big factor in um Obviously, my, the coaches that I'm going to be involved with for the next four years and um, just how much love they showed me and then how much they said really need me on the field at, at North Carolina. So that's a real big, big decision. And playing for Coach Davis, uh, obviously he's got a pedigree. Mm -hmm. he's, he's known for sending guys to the league, which is obviously the goal. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you're going to get the complete package in North Carolina as well, aren't you? Yeah, that, yeah that's another reason. Um, coach Davis, he's a, he's a great coach. Um, you know, it's kind of awkward because all my coaches I've been playing with last name Davis, so it's going to be, it's kind of crazy, but, um, you know, it's, he's a great coach, obviously, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Now, North Carolina is known as being a basketball school. It's also known as being a soccer school as well. Now, you guys have a tradition that you're trying to build. Um, talk a little bit about, you know, Keenan Stadium is a beautiful place to be on a Saturday night, even on a Saturday afternoon, but what is it going to take to get North Carolina to that next level? Um, first, I can't, um, I can't really speak on that because I ain't really how to practice the but um, I was, I'm gonna give my 100 full effort, 100 say full effort. And, um, I'm just looking forward to it, and um, it's gonna be a football school, obviously. Right. You know? So, so you're moving on, but let's talk a little bit about where you came from. Countryside High School, one of the uh, richest traditions in all of Pinellas County. Um, bowed out this year. It's a very, very tough game. Had that that plant game, and you guys finished the season undefeated, first undefeated regular season in the history of the school. Um, Saw a lot of your games this year. You were kind of bored. Uh, you, you know, you were the Revis of, of Pinellas County. Nobody wanted to throw at you. Um, but, you know, you had the your other guy, Denzel Thompson, on the other side. Um, you know, that's the mark of a good player is he's making players around him better as well. So let's talk out a little bit about the Countryside Cougar. Um, yeah, um, I'll shout out my teammates because um, we was one unit um, period, so I wouldn't be that without them. So um, and another reason, um, Denzel, he, he did a great job this year. Um, a lot of people expect him to do that good because his first year starting. And um, he really worked, worked out really hard. And um, he told himself that he was going to always give it. 100% effort, and um, just, just that, you know. Well, as one of the captains on the team, and, and I, you know, personally witnessing some of the adversity that you guys had to face this year, I mean, you guys were in a lot of games that you probably should have blown out teams, but you found yourselves, you know, in battles, so, you know, you're already battle-tested. Talk a little bit about what it meant, though, to bring the team together and be able to pull those games out and do what another, no other countryside team has ever done. Um, in practice, we always, our motto is, um, that come to practice last year losing. So um, that was our motto every day, come to practice. And um, we just worked hard and fought each fought each day and got each other better and stuff. Um, great coaching staff on top of that. And um, we just played as a team and as brothers and stuff. So we really fought it out. All right, now one of the biggest debates that is, is currently going is the Pinellas County versus the Hillsborough County. You know, those schools, you know, they play each other only in playoffs times, but and you really don't get a chance to showcase but, you know, there are quite a few commits in, in Pinellas County this year. Um, got a couple kids going to Florida State next year. You've got, uh, on your team alone, there's a, a Tyler Moore going to Nebraska. Um, Terry Johnson may end up going. He offers from Colorado State and New Mexico. Um, so talk a little bit about the, the history of Pinellas County, who you looked up to, and what Pinellas needs to do to kind of shed that reputation. Um, first of all, um, both of the both of the areas, you know, it's just competition level. You know, 
people might think that we don't play that much competition there and they play more competition here. So, um, it's just depending on what competition level you're playing at and what rate you're yeah. trying to improve at. And, um, you know, once when season come, playoffs come, then you finally see who the best and whatever, um, compete level, and it's just how it goes. So. What is, you know, what are the, what's going to have to do, though, because we, we see some of the Pinellas schools that, you know, we look at them and we say, well, how are they really doing that? They, you know, there's not, there's not a whole lot to work with in terms of the resources. You know, the kids are there, but, you know, what is it, what, how did Countryside do it? Um, you know, first of all, it's for my coaching staff and um, how our game plan was, you know, how we look at things and want to see ourselves being and where we want to be at. And, um, you know, just how, work, how we work and in the classroom, off the field, on the field, you know, and um, just how bad we really wanted it. And then we, ops always, we always want to be at the top, so. Alex, where do you see yourself this time next year? I see myself starting for North Carolina, making big plays. And in, uh, in four years' time, hopefully uh, getting that getting that call, sit, stand up on the podium, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, folks, we'd love to thank Alex for spending it's his debut on BigCountyPreps.com. Uh, Alex, we really appreciate you taking the time out. That's it. Uppercuts, left jab, right hooks, body shots, occasional head bunch. Yeah, we got to get that in, too.